Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Arky Nomad. In this today's tutorial, I will teach you how to create nice curved curtain wall in Rabbit. So as you can see here, you can differentiate. This is very nice, a nice curve, clean and simple. And this one is just the default one we use to put in Rabbit. So uh, I will teach you how to create this one. So let's get started okay so first i will just delete all these files which i've created i'll just select delete and uh, we will i'll be here in level one now so i will just first create a curtain wall so i'll just press w a and i'll just select the storefront and i'll use the arc two point and I'll just here and click here and make a nice arc okay I'll check in 3d okay it looks like that so this is one when we create a curtain wall like a lot of and the edges are not sharp and it's like the mullions also not uh, not that curved it's like a straight going on straight and straight like that so first of all what we are going to do now let me just make it a little bit shorter it's too much big yeah for this example this much will work so I'll just create a two wall so I'll just go hit WA and just make a normal wall anything anyone just to generate okay I'll just place one here and one more here okay I'll just place like this so I will tell you why I created these two walls later because we're going to use these two properties of this wall in this current panel so now as you can see we have uh, our curtain panel here now I'm going to just select one of its mullion and then I will just select all in the grid line and I will delete it suppose if it is logged you can just unpin it from here and you can delete it from here or you can just just uh, select delete button on your keyboard so as you can see this one is logged so I just unpin it I'll hit delete and delete. same thing I'll do for the next one I'll just select Mullinson grid and delete. Next one. Sometimes it get hard to select the Mullin, so make sure just zoom a little bit so it can identify the element, your cursor, and pin, delete, and pin. Delete. Okay, so we created, uh, sorry, we deleted our vertical mullions in our curtain panel. Now I'm going to create a curtain grid of 50 mm in all of this curtain grid just below it. So I'll go to my architecture tab. I will go to curtain grid and I'll just put here randomly and I will change its distance 50 mm and uh, if you're getting this mullions you need to delete this one so same process just select on grid line delete I don't know by default it's create the mullion also and if you find the solution for this one may I just comment on this video I'll make sure I will apply the same and same thing I'll do for the next one cut and grid here 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 so now I'll just delete all this mullions same thing and I'll just select and I'll just press 
on my keyboard 50 mm same thing I'll do for the next one on the grid delete okay 50 millimeter gap same thing select on the grid line delete 50 mm oops sometimes it happens it cannot detect so you can just select grid line delete and just uh, select this one 50 mm as well okay so now as you can see i have created our curtain grid of 50 mm of gap all the way to the horizontal okay so now i'll just select one of the wall and i will just go to it it's edit type i'll duplicate i will create just make it like curtain one panel 20 mm um, should be sorted shot will be good cwp 20 mm i'll just edit the structure 20 mm its material should be glass i'll just search glass and i'll select this one okay hit okay and double check the material is selected okay okay as you can see we created our glass this one i'll create a mullion so for the first of all you need to make sure that your the mullion i'm going to i mean according to your project for this one i'm going to use the 150 mm because when you select this curtain wall sorry this mullion you can see the size it's showing here 50 by 150 mm so i will just create the 150 50 by 150 mm of mullion on this wall profile i'll just select and duplicate this one too and just put uh, rename it mullion mullion file 50 by 1 50 mm okay this one okay i did the structure 50 sorry 150 mm and here i'll select uh, aluminium i'll search aluminium okay it takes a little bit time to load uh, this graphic you can check with this appearance also yeah this one nice I'll just select make sure it's selected here and okay okay so now we created a mullion profile and I'm going to use this one here so now I will just go here and my curtain wall and I will just select this curtain wall first and I'll go to it edit type I will just duplicate this one because I don't want to touch the default one Hit okay now here as you can see the curtain panel system panel glaze it's selected i will change it to the curtain wall that we created just this one and you can see this one 20 mm cwp 20 mm just created right now and i'll just hit ok so now immediately you will find that a nice curve over this wall as you can see so it reflects immediately so now we have to change this gap we just created as a million so what I'm going to do is I will just I will just go here and select hit tab and select this one and I'll just go the same method select panel vertical grid oops sorry I'll just select select panel horizontal grid because we're going to change the horizontal one all the way so now just unpin it from here you can select the mullion ball we just created this one as you can see it has a nice curve we are getting 
So I'll just do the same thing for this one. I'll just hit tab, select, right click, horizontal grid, unpin, change it to Moolean profile wall. And same thing here, hit tab, right click, horizontal, unpin, change it, Moolean walls, same thing here. I click horizontal and pin so you just have to repeat the same process okay oops I just created actually two that's why I got confused because I was working on some other projects also okay so I'll just select this one because the both one is same so don't need to worry I'll just select the, select the same one Hit tab. Sometimes it don't select, sometimes it does. So just go and just zoom it and just click, right click, select along the horizontal, unpin it, then go and select the moving profile. So as you can see now, we just got our final nice curved moving and also with the whole curtain glass panel and wrap it so this is much for this tutorial i will come up with the new ideas and new concept so stay tuned to our channel hit like if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates and thank you so much bye bye